Hey folks, this is Athens Pro doing a review of the Log Me In application. See the Log Me In application here on the right hand side with the key. Click on it. It brings you up to the username and password. Now this is all set up in the web application online on your desktop. Um, so I'm going to key in that information now. Here we are with the computers I have access to. Now each one of these computers has the free Log Me In application loaded up. So the only money I've spent for Log Me In is for this iPhone app. You can see there's five machines I have access to. One of them's offline at this time, so you know you can't get to that one. So I'm going to click on Dell Laptop. It's the one I want to log into. And of course you can access Macs or PCs on this phone or on this application. And I'm accessing a PC at this time. Now when you first start it up, you can turn these hints on or off. It shows you how to use the program. For example, you pinch to zoom in and out just like you do um, in the photo app in the iPhone. You uh, use a single tap for single click, double tap for double clicks, uh, two finger tap for right click, uh, two finger scroll just like the scroll wheel on the mouse. And also you can shake the device to switch monitors so it does have multiple monitor support which is nice. So you know you can turn the hints on and off. You can see the screen actually loaded in the background. So I continue to the computer. I've looked at the hints. Now you can see it here in portrait mode. Now I'm going to rotate it to landscape because this is what most everyone will be using it in. And so there's your screen. So I'm going to pinch in. And uh, you know you can move around just by dragging your finger around. Now the key thing from the ones that I've used, the difference between this one one of the things that really makes it nice is you see the cursor stays on one place. So you're actually moving the screen and not the cursor. So if you want to go to an application or if you want to do something, if you want to do a click, you just point. So say I want to go to YouTube here. Let me zoom in a little so you can see it. So there's YouTube. Um, I'm going to click on YouTube. So to click, I just tap on the screen. And it runs it. Okay, now I'm going to zoom back out or hit the zoom out page there button and there is YouTube alright on the iPhone okay so if you want to search for something go up here to the search box tap you see it changed to a you're ready to insert text. So let's search for um, Barack Obama. Alright, and then return. And you can see here the keyboard. It's a full keyboard. You got your numbers, you got your letters. You also have the Control, Alt, and even the Windows button up here at the top. There's a menu button. I'm not really sure what that's for. If you click this over here, it gives you the um, F1 keys. Now, you see this message come up warning the device is running out of memory. I've got this message. I don't get it every time, but I have got it several times. But it's never given me any problems. So I just dismiss it and keep working. Uh, so we want to hide the keyboard. And now we've got videos that have come up with, uh, you know, in YouTube using the search. Okay? So let's zoom out. Alright. Now let me look at the buttons at the bottom. You see on the left hand side you have an X here. That is to end the session. So if you click on it, it's going to say do you want to end it or not. Cancel. There, This keyboard icon brings up the keyboard. This toggles if you want left or right click, which you can do by doing the double tap as well. Um, and then we've got zoom in and out. And this is the setting button. Now there's several settings in here as far as the quality, res quality, resolution, different things. I've never actually messed with these settings. I've just left them on their default settings. And then this last button here is Alt Tab and Control Alt Delete. So you can send that to the phone. Now one thing I want to talk about the settings. If you see, you see the screen there is color. Okay. Now this is one good thing about Log Me In. Uh, they do this also in their web application. 
Depending on your connection speed, LogMeIn automatically adjusts the screen quality. So here I'm on a Wi-Fi connection, nice connection, and everything comes in color. Now if I was on Edge or perhaps slow 3G or something, it would come in grayscale or maybe in black and white. So it adjusts the colors and stuff to, um, you know, so it doesn't put that much stress on your connection. All right. So uh, that's the LogMeIn application. It's really nice. Um, it is $29.99 in the iPhone store, app store. And uh, while that is expensive, a lot more than most apps you see in the store, I believe it's well worth it. I have access to five PCs or Macs right here from my iPhone. If I'm away from the house, wherever I am, I can access them. And the desktops, I loaded the applications for free. So the only thing I've had to pay for is just $30 for the iPhone app. So uh, while it is a little expensive, I found it to be well worth it. Um, I can use it anywhere I go, and uh, I really like it. So I definitely would give this five stars, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave comments and rate it, and let me know if you want me to do any other um, application reviews.